Rhode Island soccer's tradition of success is about more than just the number of championships won. Every day when we walk out uh, to the practice field, we see the years of the titles we won. It's about more than just the Rams that have gone on to play professionally on the world's biggest stages. There's a lot of great players going through the program. Jeff Cameron, to mention, is one of them. He's playing uh, in the Premier League now. That just sets like a target for us. You can do that here. Rhodey Soccer's tradition of success is about the people that come from all over the world to the beautiful coast of Rhode Island. I meet guys from all over the world. My teammates are from Germany, Norway. Never thought I'd meet an Icelandic guy. He taught me the Icelandic clap. You learn about different cultures all the time, so it's really brilliant. The fact that so many of your internationals come from so far away, our team is its own family, and uh, we think that is a tremendous thing for our program. Being an international student here at URI is extremely easy. It feels like a family environment, so everyone makes you feel at home. Just having the team support you from day one, even when it comes to, to the language barriers, uh, they always try to help you out. All the players look out for each other. They become really tight-knit, and a lot of them actually will stay in contact long after URI soccer is finished for them. Head coach Gareth Elliott would know. He was the MVP of the 2000 Atlantic 10 Championship and ranks in the top 10 at URI in points, goals, and assists. 30-something yeah, yeah. goals, I think. Uh, Chris is telling us this. Coach Gareth, tall guy, big heart. Really love him. Good coach. Uh, great guy. He has a lot of knowledge about the game. He's a fellow, a fellow European. He knows what's going on. He's been in the same situations as us. So you can help us like, on the field, obviously off the field, when it comes to, uh, to academics and uh, pretty much all of it. He scored a lot of goals for us. Gareth was the type of player that made everybody else better. He was willing to do the work, and he was probably a student of the game. You knew he was going to be a coach. Elliot has been part of eight Atlantic 10 championships in his time as a player, assistant coach, and now head coach at Rhode Island. I came to Rhode Island in 1998 as a freshman from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Had an outstanding experience here, part of a lot of successful teams, graduated in 2002 and I really feel a deep passion for the program of Rhode Island and I'm delighted to be back here as head coach. He's just a really good coach. The whole coaching staff is extremely good. They'll help us in whatever aspect of life we really need help in, whether it be school, off the field. And especially on the field, where many Rhodey alums have went on to enjoy professional careers. A lot of our former players have went on to play professionally, probably most notably is Jeff Cameron, who starts for the US men's national team and in the English Premier League with Stoke City. He was a tremendous player at URI and obviously is having a great career right now. So Jeff Cameron plays in the, in the Premier League. He's been in this locker room. He's been on the same pitch as us. He's been on the same practice field, so we can do the same thing. He's been here a few summers and we've trained with him, so we know what it's like at the professional level as he's spoken to us personally. He's also hung out with us like off the field, so it's really nice just to get to know people like that. Dan Lee Borman went on to play in the MLS. Andy Williams was an MLS All-Star, amongst other players that have went on to play professionally in many different countries. We believe we provide a great environment for players that are looking to play at the next level, at that professional level. We can provide the coaching, the facilities, the, the total environment that is needed to really take their game to the next level. Right down to the beautiful natural grass and the training and game fields. Uh, we have a turf management program here at URI and our groundskeepers do a wonderful job keeping our fields in tremendous condition for practice and for play. A beautiful grass pitch to come play soccer on. We have practice fields that are much better than everything we have back in Norway. I'm from South Africa and I've never seen grass pitches as amazing as here. I played on a pretty high level back home and uh, I have to say this is still the best practice field and game field maybe I've ever seen. It's a beautiful venue for training, it's a professional-like environment, just an unbelievable place for our players to train every day. Just the facilities around here is really great. We have a brand new weight room, training room, so we really looked after. And the University of Rhode Island provides a variety of educational opportunities. URI offers a lot of different uh, academic ways to graduate. Whatever you're interested in, there's always be a path for you here at URI. If you want engineering, if you want business, or if you want uh, any, any other directions, URI will always have a choice for you. They really invest in the education here. The business school is uh, ranked pretty high in the country. Uh, I know we have some, some great professors from, uh, from all over the country, all over the world actually. We have a beautiful campus here at Rhode Island. Brand new dormitories, brand new apartments on campus. Uh, a lot of brand new academic buildings as well as athletics. All of this while living by the ocean.
One of the great things about being a student athlete on our men's soccer team is that after your freshman year, you get to live off campus in beautiful beach houses right next to the ocean. It's a brilliant location, really close to the beach. Sometimes I just jog down to the beach, take a walk on the beach, so it's really nice. Everyone hangs out, even after practice, we just meet up at uh, one of the houses. We just hang out together, and yeah, it pretty much just feels like a, like a big family. Then, there's game day. Game day is a very special day here. Fans come out in strong numbers every year. We believe we put a good product on the pitch and uh, they like to see that. We play at 7 p.m. usually when the sun sets, so we get beautiful sunsets. We got, we got good games in there. It's beautiful going out there and it gets like slick and it's beautiful, yeah. Our home, we're not losing here! Come on! Family Earth One, two, three! Family